most of the things that I try to get these young people to respect, you know. I always think about the future. I'm Alaskan chef Rob Kinnean, and this is Traditional Foods Contemporary Chef. We're on the Tanana River, just a short four miles out of Fairbanks, in the interior of Alaska. Athabascan elder Howard Luke has been kind enough to invite us to his fish camp to impart his stories and wisdom. You're in for a treat. Are you ready? Let's get started. So today in the kitchen, we are making an Alaskan wild duck barley and root vegetable risotto. Uh, I've got Stormy Simeon here as my assistant. We found some trough or Indian potato. You know, usually this is a, a dessert. So what they'll do is they'll peel the skin off and we'll just kind of move that along. And this is a little young for the time of year. Usually you let them get a little more plump. For this dish, we're gonna actually slice it up and we're gonna serve it in the risotto. So, so we're gonna be making uh, a barley risotto. And again, typically people say risotto and they think of an Italian rice dish. And risotto is actually referring to the fact that you're stirring it, um, this, a stirring method. For this particular application, we're using grain. Uh, you can use orvoyo rice. You could actually even uniformly cut potatoes and actually, and actually make the dish. We've got a wonderful duck. We took off the bone and we seared and braised it with the, with the bone and uh, made a wonderful hearty duck stock. Now the next step is basically to start the risotto. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of vegetable oil. And we're gonna get the onions. Now we're not really looking for a lot of color on these. We want them to, to sweat or be translucent. Carrots. And we're just gonna cook these, uh, just kind of again, sweat them out, get a nice little translucent, transparent look about the onions, get those flavors kind of activated. And uh, it's a lot of hard work making risotto. That's why I've got my friend here to, to do the heavy work. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the barley. Now your pan might be a little dry. So again, this is the point where you might wanna add just a little bit more oil. And the whole idea here is that you're coating all the grains for an even cooking capacity. So we went just uh, right here in Indian country, we went just kind of right, right back off the camp. And uh, again, it's a little bit early, but we had a good time kind of looking for the roots. Um, your brother even got, uh, even helped us out a little bit. Now, this is the stock over here. I'm gonna reach behind here. And this is the duck broth. And uh, we were fortunate enough to get a duck from our friend. So I took all the meat off the bone and uh, took the meat, cut it into smaller pieces and, and seared it, braised it, uh, kind, of, kind of made a quick broth. But this is, the, this is the carcass, so I kept it in there just for a little bit of flavor. We've got uh, everything kind of stirring. We've got a good little color on our onions and carrots. And now we're just gonna go ahead and start with the a, a first part of our broth. There you go. And uh, you know, it's pretty important, salt and pepper, so I'm just gonna add a little bit now. I hear you do a little bit of baking, but do you do much cooking at home? No? You're gonna go home and make some risotto for your, for your mom? <laughs> That'll be our little secret, okay? I added the onions and carrots in, aromatics in first. Um, the squash and the trough are gonna be added in after I add the second round, and that's just because they're a little more tender. It's gonna take a little less cooking time. How's that arm doing? Mm -hmm, <laughs> so you see how all that liquid is, is dropping down a little bit and it's getting a little thicker. Like you see how it looks almost like a, it almost looks like a gravy. That's, it's coming along really well. And make sure you get everything off the side. Push it up on the side. We're gonna go ahead and add the squash and the trough. It's a good hearty dish. Um, I love risottos in the winter time. Fall time like this where you get those cool nights, a little cold, this is gonna keep you warm and, warm and healthy. So second round of duck broth. So what we've got here is the risotto on the third stage. We've added all our liquid in there. Um, you can see the viscosity kind of thickening up. You can see on his bicep, growing. <laughs> and what we're gonna do, I've got the last of the broth, 
and the duck that was seared and rendered and, and kind of and steeped. So I'm going to actually add this in. And we're going to keep that going. And, uh, and what you want, the end, at the end result, it should be, it should stick to a fork when you're picking it up. So it shouldn't be real soupy or liquid. Best way is just to taste and see if it's ready. So we're getting pretty close. I wait until the end. We've got a nice, rich bubbling in there. I mean, it's just, it's looking really good. So I'm gonna add this kale. So this stuff is pretty good because it'll wilt down. It doesn't need a lot of cooking time like a chard or a mustard green. And the secret to a really good risotto is actually off the heat is when you add at the end. So I'm gonna turn this off and uh, we're gonna let it sit for a minute. And that's when typically people will, will finish risottos with like cream and cheese and, and butter. Uh, we're using a little bit of margarine and it's just gonna add a little round texture to it, but it's gonna be uh, nice and light as well. And the best part is to actually add it off the heat. So you, you add it off the heat and it actually emulsifies into the dish. So we've got our barley risotto here. We've got wild duck broth um, and duck meat in there. Uh, we've got all our, all our fall time vegetables from the market. And, uh, and then, you know, the special guest, the trough or Indian potato, um, that's nice and fresh. So um, we're gonna go ahead and plate this up and give it a taste, okay? What do you think? You like it? And there you have it. Wild Alaskan duck barley risotto with fall time vegetables. Yeah, hey.